There are plenty of videos on the internet that are centered around useless information about specific things. And I'm quite late to the trend, but if you know me, you know I may as well have a PhD in Rick and Morty knowledge. So I decide I'll make my own one of these centered around Rick and Morty. So let's get straight into it before this turns into 11 minutes. Warning, as previously implied, all the information within this video is truly absolutely useless. I'm Pickle Rick! As stated in Season 2, Episode 2, Gearhead's real name is Rivolio Clockberg Jr. Morty's math teacher, Mr. Goldenfold, who is voiced by Brandon Johnson, canonically has an allergy to sheepskin fleece. Morty's son's favorite television program is the History Channel. On the website Hacker Noon, a person named Stella J. McKenna posted an article on October 25th, 2017 titled, Does not liking Rick and Morty mean I'm stupid? The 69th word used in said article is even. The third season of Rick and Morty he was first broadcast on Adult Swim on a Saturday. Justin Roiland's favorite episode is Rick Potion number 9. Rick first said Wubba Lubba Dub Dub 19 minutes and 55 seconds into season 1 episode 5. Jerry Smith majored in civics in college. In season 3 episode 1 when Morty and Summer are searching the garage, there are a couple of frames where you can see a portrait of Doofus Rick. The scene in season 1 episode 3 when Morty and Annie are chased by Hepatitis A but then Hepatitis C saves them is a reference to the fact that Hepatitis C is more commonly benign. The container on Rick Rick's portal gun that holds the portal fluid can hold up to 16.7 fluid ounces. If the events of Rick and Morty moved with real time, Morty Smith would be 25 years old. In the pilot episode, the name Morty is said 113 times, and the first draft of the script for said episode took approximately 8 hours to write. Rick was born on a Thursday. Chris Parnell was once asked out of his most popular characters he voices who would win a rap battle, and he chose Jerry Smith because he had a gut feeling. At some point in 2013, in order to advertise the show, a Rick and Morty prop crash spaceship was placed at 23rd and Broadway in New York, with Morty inside the ship and Rick sat on a nearby bench. Justin Roiland made a Twitter post about it at 6.45pm that was reposted 47 times. Sarah Chalk auditioned for the voice of Beth Sanchez over the phone while she was staying in a cabin in Canada. Jerry Smith's father is shown to enjoy watching his wife make out with other men while in a closet dressed as Superman. He was born in 1932. The website rickandmortyadventures.com that Rick mentions in the pilot actually directs you to Adult Swim's website. Rick's UFO has 9 hidden sci-fi firearms built into it. The average script for a Rick and Morty episode is 30 pages long. The episode Total Rickle has the most jokes out of any Rick and Morty episode, totaling at 150. In the scene in Season 2 Episode 10 where Tammy kills Bird Person, she shoots him 6 times. The first two episodes of Season 2 were leaked online early due to an error while trying to privately send them to the press for a review. In the Ascension scene in Get Swifty, the person labelled Thief is a Justin Roiland cameo. In Season 2 Episode 7 of Gravity Falls, some items Stan was holding are sucked into a portal, and in Rick and Morty Season 1 Episode 10 when Rick and Morty are running from the council, we see these things come out of one of the portals. Justin Roiland once stated that if he had a Meeseeks box, he would summon Meeseeks and task them with making jokes to try and make him laugh. A singular Schmeckle, the currency seen in Meeseeks and Destroy, is worth $148. The episode Ricksty Minutes was first ever premiered on the show's official Instagram account instead of public television. However, at the time, Instagram videos were limited to 15 seconds maximum and so the episode would be split into 109 videos in order to upload the whole thing. Also in Ricksty Minutes, the majority of the alien advertisements shown were improvised by the voice actors. Justin Roiland's process for Rick's burps is drinking beer with water in order to get the urge to burp. He is said to find this process disgusting. Summer Smith hates the board game Yahtzee. The liquid that Rick drinks from his iconic flask is just vodka. Dan Harmon stated that the episode Pickle Rick is inspired by Season 2 Episode 4 of Breaking Bad, where Walt and Jesse get stranded in the desert and have to use their smarts to escape. The robe Jerry wears after divorcing Beth has Chinese characters on the back that translate to weak. The harmonious claptrap end screen has changed drastically since the pilot, reflecting the changes in Dan Harmon's life such as his divorce. Pickle Rick was the first and only time a Rick and Morty episode was nominated for an Emmy. The joke in Total Rickle where Rick overreacts and explains a scheme about reselling markdown Nintendo 64 systems is a reference to when Justin Roiland pulled off this scheme himself in real life. Rick and Morty make a cameo appearance in an episode of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Don't ask why I know. The name of Season 1, Episode 5, Me Seeks and Destroy, is a play on of Metallica's song title, Seek and Destroy. Jess Harnell, the voice actor of Scary Terry, also voiced Crash Bandicoot. Rick and Morty's portrayal of Rick's obsession with the McDonald's Szechuan sauce saw them bring it back in 2018 for a limited time. The 48th episode of Rick and Morty is Promorteus. 
Season 4, Episode 1 contains an approximate total of 31,680 frames. Rick's 69th birthday was on a Tuesday. Rick's multiverse battery that he uses to power his car and charge his phone was also used by Toxic Rick to power the toxicity beam. The Truth Tortoise's message to Morty reversed is I'm a beetle, Paul is dead! as a reference to the theory that Paul McCartney died earlier and was replaced by a stunt double. The Vindicators have a whole comic series. When Rick fights with the president in season 3 episode 10, they can be seen flying past some conspiracy theories. These include Washington's crossing of the Delaware River being faked in a Hollywood studio and the staged assassination of JFK. The Smith family keep a photo of Rick and Mr. Poopy Burhole on their fridge, and Mr. Poopy Burhole keeps the same image on his wall. The Rick that teaches the school in the Rick Lantis mix-up is a reference to Professor Snape from Harry Potter. In the game Pocket Mortis, Rick Prime is referred to as Weird Rick, as the character wasn't officially named at the time. When Rick goes through the box to find the chalk to get to Froopy Land, you can see references to iconic episodes, such as the Me Seeks box, the Vinda Beacon, a box of simple Rick's cookies, and Rick's memory eraser device. When Rick is shown as drunk in the show, Justin Roiland actually gets drunk in order to do the voice lines. I'm about to record. Will you text me back and let me know if I sound drunk to you? Do I sound drunk right now? When the Smith family are traveling together in a car, Rick is the only one that doesn't wear a seatbelt. Rick came back into Beth's life one month before the pilot episode. Justin Roiland is jealous of the fact that Sarah Chalk can burp on command. Rick, Squanchy, and Bird Person were once in a rock band together called the Flesh Curtains. In the names of all the episodes in seasons 1 through 6, the name Rick is included 36 times. In the post credit scene of Morty's Mind Blowers, we see Jerry find a box of his own mind blowers, with one being labelled Apple's Campaign, which references Jerry's atrocious slogan pitch from season 1 that saw him get fired from his job. You're fired. Rick is afraid of pirates. The game that Jerry is often seen playing on his iPad is a real game made by Adult Swim that you can download called Jerry's Game. As of right now, the debate of which Beth is a clone is unsolvable, as the writers never actually decided which is a clone. In Season 1, Episode 11, Bird Person details that Wubba Lubba Dub Dub means I am in great pain, please help me. The episode, A Rickle in Time, was made as a somewhat passive aggressive way to prove why the show's creators dislike the concept of time travel. Rick and Bird Person cannot kiss in one of the comics. As shown in the pilot, Rick's jacket has several pockets inside to hold all of his sci-fi tools. Also in the pilot, when Rick and Morty return from their adventure, the flag outside is half-mast instead of fully raised because of the death of Frank Pelicky. When the outside of the house is shown, you can see references to times the house was damaged, such as boards on the garage roof from when summer broke it and cracks in the driveway from when the house was teleported. Rick's old house is a replica of Walter White's house from Breaking Bad. Across all episodes in seasons 1-7, to seven, the fourth wall has been broken exactly 100 times. In the Jerry Bury, the human music from Season 1 Episode 4 can be heard playing in the background. This is Earth Radio, and now here's the human music. Huh. Human music! Earth C-137, the reality that the show takes place in, is code for Earth Dimension Cesium-137. There is a particular pink and blue alien creature that appears in every episode involving different dimensions. The bond of Rick and Morty is said by Dan Harmon to represent bipolar disorder, with Rick representing mania and Morty representing depression. Mr. Poopy Barhole appears in every intro scene in Season 2 Episode 4, despite never appearing beforehand or after, to reference the fact that he is not a parasite. The CEO of Rick and Morty's handler studio, Bardell Entertainment, is also named Rick. Brian Cranston, the actor of Walter White in Breaking Bad, auditioned for the voice of Jerry Smith and was rejected. Bonus fact, I'm talking too much about Breaking Bad in this video, I need to stop. Jerry's car is inspired by the car from Lampoon's Vacation. The rainbow suspenders guy who is often seen in the show is said to hold some sort of message relating to a secret project Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland worked on, but this theory is still unsolved. However, people have assumed it's just meant to be a fun reference to the show considering the Roman numerals on his shirt decoded to the English alphabet spell R, A and M, which people believe is meant to stand for Rick and Morty. Every male member of the Smith family has become buff at some point in the series. Rick accidentally refers to the family dog as Ruffles instead of Snuffles in Season 1 Episode 2, which is a reference to a pilot that Justin Roiland worked on that never aired called Dog World, where the roles of humans and dogs were reversed and the pet human's name was Ruffles. At the time of writing this script, Dan Harmon is 51 years old. However, with how long it takes me to make videos, chances are when this releases he'll be 109. The song that plays at the end of Season 2 Episode 10 
N is hurt by N-I-N. The W-shaped mouth that characters are often seen making is a reference to the Ren and Stimpy show. The catchphrase Wubba Lubba Dub Dub was created by accident, as Justin Rowling was meant to say Wub 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 Wub, but somehow misread the line, but the producers liked it and decided to keep it. In the interdimensional cable movie Jan Quadrant Vincent 16, there isn't a Quadrant P, and the Quadrants only go up to Quadrant O, because there are two Quadrant H's. And finally, the live-action Rick and Morty short from 2021 received 17 7-star reviews. Thanks for watching.